What if adding in this one simple word could boost your constant? Could boost your confidence instantly? Well, make sure to stick around because not only will I share that one word, I'm going to share two words that you could use as well to boost that confidence and empower your mindset. Along with that, I'm gonna be giving a common saying that you might be using, I know I have at one point in time, and to replace it with this more empowering saying. Welcome to Mindfulness Monday, here to give you an empowering start to your week in a quick, impactful, and enjoyable way. Now let's get started. Many people are, are challenged with their confidence, doubting their abilities or comparing themselves to others or one of my old favorite flavors, self-criticism. And that needs to stop coming from a recovering inner child abuser. Stop abusing your inner child. Our language has powerful impacts on our thoughts and emotions. This one simple word could not only empower you more, but give you that instant boost of confidence. All right, let's go ahead, drum roll. No, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to you. It's the word yet. So when you say, I can't do that, put in yet. I can't do that yet. And you've completely neutralized and reframed from a limitation to a possibility. Now, the other two word that you could use as well, it's that magic bullet to kill that negative thought or, or limited thinking, and this is one of kind of my favorites, is for now. Again, we'll go back to the other one. I can't do that for now. Now, to kind of get to that common phrase that you might be using is the I can't. And if you remember that quote, if you say that you can or you can't, you're right. So I'm gonna give you a couple of different ways. Actually, I'm gonna give you a few different ways to kind of reframe that. Well, here's a simple one. I can, I am able to, I am capable of. And if it happens to slip out when you say, I can't, again, You've got the one or the two simple words that you can say afterwards. I can't do that yet, or I can't do that for now. Recognizing that the power of language really shouldn't be underestimated. As it said, the tongue can bring life or death. One, work on removing the negative self-talk and replacing it with the more positive and empowering talk. And two, if there happens to be a slip up, then remember use yet or for now, whichever resonates with you best, because that will end up reframing those negative thoughts or beliefs. Now, heck, you, you might want to challenge yourself for the next three days and notice the shift so you can see and feel for yourself. And feel free to share your experience with me in the comments below. Or what I'll do too is I'll put a link in here that can message me and you can let me know privately. Remember, this is a journey one step at a time. Every small change can stack up to a big difference. And now I didn't forget, I did say in the last video, I'll put a card right there, that I will end up choosing one winner for the gratitude and intention journal. And I'd love to congratulate Lauren for winning the gratitude and intention journal. I will get, I will, I will send you over an email and get your address and send that over to you shortly. Now, know this, just because that's already has passed, I'm gonna be picking some random people throughout the rest of this year. So, as they say... So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah, you still have a chance. Now, keep empowering that mindset. And if you like another possible way how to short circuit those negative thoughts and possibly live longer, check out this video next.